Ah, right, yo, what's up, y'all? Does everybody want some more Ruby? This is Ruby Volume 5, Episode 1. So we are continuing off with, I guess we're in the professor's uh, city right now, basically, or like his, in his like, estate, or whatever, whatever, wherever this place is, I don't know. But Ruby and the gang have finally got to the place. Uh, not the Ruby gang, but the gang that's kind of, you know, you know john and you know all of them together and crow you know just 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 a random group of people <laughs> not random but like just you know it's an it's an unorganized team at this point um what is they organized it's not the original teammates <laughs> everything's all broken up now and stuff it's a complete disaster but anyways they're they're safe and the professor's also working with salem unfortunately uh yeah and um that's it i continue this on Oh shit, I should do that too. Yep, go. The city of Mistral. Ugh, it's about time. Oh, I thought my country went black Whose for a second. Whose idea was it to walk again? Well, we did face many obstacles. Broken airships, destroyed settlements. Oh, and you know, all those people and monsters that tried to murder us. <laughs> we were fine. Only one of us almost died. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so, how much farther to Haven Academy? Almost there. I'd have figured I'd take you kids on the scenic route. I would have never thought Crow would be almost dying in a series. Wow. This is awesome! Holy shit. That's certainly something. Oh my gosh, look at all the weapons! Vendors here will sell you just about anything. Whether they should or not. Mm. They uh. really made the most out of these mountains. Every inch. And stay away from the lower levels. But the higher up you go, the nicer it gets. And we are going up! Obviously the low income areas are the worst. It's always like that. So, how much farther? We're in the home stretch now. No more stops from here to Mistral. Sorry for the long trip. Keeping us off the radar's been harder than I thought. Lots of air traffic around Northern Anima. It's fine. I just hope I haven't been a burden. <laughs> you and your money are more than welcome on this ship, kid. What the? This is being honest. Is everything okay? I don't know. I'm still over Lake Matsu. Shouldn't be picking up broadcasts this far from Mistral. Someone must be close. Mayhay! Mayhay! We are a small passenger flight and our hundreds is down! We aren't equipped to deal with this! Oh, man. The Grim hit us 400 clicks north of the southern shoreline! Get him off us! If anyone can hear this! Oh! We're going to help them, right? What? No, I'm trying to avoid them. But they'll die. Look, if we picked up their transmission, I'm sure someone else did too. Besides, this is a cargo ship. She's not much good in a fight. I just want to finish this job and get home. That's fair. Sorry, kid. My ship, my rules. She's gonna go anyways. Or maybe not. Okay, no. <laughs> so where's the the farm boy? Is he? I know he's not here. He's going to Mistral too. Or no, he's going to Haven. I just want to know how they're all going to meet each other. No one's Hello? there. This is a little weird. Hello! Maybe try louder? There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Well, I guess school isn't really in session right now. Maybe that's it. 
No, this isn't right. Come on. Yeah, Wait, no. Yes. Something's wrong. Get ready. There could be trouble. What the hell? What? Uh, that was anticlimactic. Lionheart? <laughs> Crow! For crying out loud, nearly scared me half to death! <sighs> me? Why weren't you waiting for us at the entrance? Huh? Oh, right. Apologies. I guess time slipped away from me. You're joking. Where is everybody? Ah, you must be the students Crow mentioned. Yes, sir. Ruby Rose. Jean Arc. Nor Valkyrie. Lyren. A <laughs> pleasure to meet you all. Leonardo okay. Lionheart. Oh, at that, your that was nervous for a second. I'm afraid most of my staff is currently away until classes resume, but. What? Leo, you can't be serious. Who's guarding the relic? Crow, the children. Already know. I filled them in. What do you mean your staff is away? You filled them in? So, is this not going at all like anyone thought it would? No. No, it's not. Also, it's actually a lot worse since he's working with Salem. Unbelievable! Total garbage! What happened? What the fuck? We what? can't let, let them get, get away, away with this! this. What? What? Well, at least you two can finally agree on something. Yeah, that's that's a little weird. I... <laughs> no, don't, don't. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> oh my lord. Everything's gonna be okay. Did the animation just change again a little bit? Good evening, miss. Can I get you anything? Just a little time to myself, if that's all right. Sure thing. Just call if you need me. You need better security. Please, I, I just need to talk. God, she's back again. How could you take the fall for them, Ilya? Like, Corsic and Finnick blamed you. We confronted them tonight and they denied knowing anything and everything we found on your scroll. They talked about how disappointed they were to hear that you'd sided with Adam. But you and I both know they're guilty. You can't prove anything. That scroll might not have been enough to lock them up, but it's enough to sway the faunas here. When we go public tomorrow, they're not going to stand for any of it. And neither should you. I don't know. The wife ain't got, or the other sanctum got a lot of control. It work, Blake. Just leave Menagerie before it's too late. You're going to have to make me. Oh. I know. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. probably realize there's like a great opposing force. I have to say, Crow, this all seems very reckless, even for you. No, reckless is leaving one of the relics completely unguarded. It's not checking in with Oz for ages. There was nothing to check in about before the fall of Beacon, but since that day, Mistral has been in chaos. Vale wasn't the only kingdom to suffer that night. Everyone was watching. Oh yeah, every wait a minute. No, Oz is going to them. Saw that poor okay. Cuz he made cuz he met up with Crow in the last the episode. City. Okay, yeah, yeah. Knights attacking citizens. And then nothing. You could feel the dread in the air. With all that negativity, you can imagine what it was like when the Grim came for us. Mm. Mistral's controlled territory is the widest reaching in the world, you know, and that makes it infinitely harder to protect. Damn. Lost so many great huntsmen, teachers from this very institution, and it's only gotten worse. 
What do you mean? Jesus. We may have dealt with the Grim, but the Mistal Council's still at odds with representatives from Atlas. First, it was the dust embargo. Now it's the closing of borders. I'm not sure what happened to James in Vale, but it seems to have only worsened some of his more unfortunate tendencies. <sighs> and on top of everything, we still don't know where the Spring Maiden is. All the more reason we need the Huntsman and Huntress is here. Okay, okay. Things are bad. They're bad. But we can figure this out. Why is the Spring Maiden so important? I thought you filled them in. Mostly filled in. Look, there's a lot to cover, okay? I quit teaching for a reason. Uh, oh god. <laughs> the four maidens each have the power to perform feats of magic. And they are the only ones capable of reaching the relics. What? The relics are each locked inside a chamber that can only be opened by a specific maiden. Winter for the gift of creation, summer for destruction, fall for choice, and spring for knowledge. Spring is the problem. What happened to her? Well, she died. Oh. She dead was now. determined at first when she inherited her powers. But the weight of responsibility proved to be too much for the child. Damn. She ran. Abandoned her training. Everyone. That was over a decade ago. There's no telling where she could be now. Oh, this is a different uh, person. No. At least I have a pretty good idea. Um, are you serious? You might not want to do that, exactly Crow. Good news. What are you talking about? This is incredible news. After all these years, where? I did some digging around. Looks like after Spring ran away, she was picked up by bandits, specifically the Brownwind tribe. Raven. Oh no, dude, they don't want it. Dude. Yang's mom? That's right. That's not good. Oh shit. He's That's literally giving the enemy where their location is. It's no! Really to after raids and scouting missions. Oh, this is so bad. The Ravens managed to gain a lot of followers since she returned to the tribe. <laughs> this is so and fucking sure bad. Bro! He <laughs> doxed the enemy. <laughs> or no, they doxed the... We can mount a retrieval force and head out in a few weeks. Where the people are at. That's insane. A few weeks? That's right. Leo, maybe you didn't hear me. My sister has the Spring Maiden, and I know where she is. We need to go as soon as possible. And perhaps you didn't hear me. This kingdom is in shambles. As soon as possible does not mean tomorrow. It means as soon as I can convince the rest of the council that I need huntsmen more than they do. Unfortunately, bandit tribes aren't very high on their list of priorities when the threat of war is just on the horizon. Then damn the council. We'll do it ourselves. You and I are trained huntsmen, and these kids aren't exactly pushovers. Yeah! Perhaps there's a more peaceful way to approach this? We need to no, Ren. As there's no peaceful way to approach this. <laughs> Raven isn't going to give up her most prized possession without a fight. Unfortunately, you and your sister are evenly matched. And I'm not the fighter I used to be. No offense, but these students and I can't take on an entire bandit tribe and a maiden that's no doubt had years to hone her skills. We need to be positive we can apprehend Spring, because if we fail, Raven and her tribe will scatter and we'll be lost. We get one shot at this, and it needs to be perfect. You know, Oz wouldn't be happy with any of this if he were here. Perhaps you're right. But he's not. I'm doing the very best I can. There has to be something we can do. What about Cinder? She came with Emerald and Mercury from Haven. Do you have anything on them? 
We pulled their files after the fall of Beacon. Nothing but lies and forgeries. Mm. Well, I can't say this has been a warm reunion, Leo. I'm sorry. I know you've all traveled a long way, but I will do everything I can to help. You gotta tell Salem and then where they're at. Oh Stay my in the city God, for the time. God, this is so Local bad. Are still up. Keep in touch. Come on, kids. Oh. It was nice meeting you, Professor. Likewise. Oh boy. Here we go. They were literally on the other line. That's insane. The fuck? Bro. So, what do we do now? And phone, people calling me, scam callers. You four head back to the house. I need a drink. This is where he meets Oscar. And Ospin. I guess Oscar was going there then. Excuse me. You know, I don't think they allow kids in here, Pipsqueak. Uh, damn. Shut up, I'm getting there. Um... I'm supposed to tell you... I'd like my cane back. Good to see you again, Oz. Uh, does Ozman ever get his body back? Aren't you a little? I guess, I'm guessing not, because he's dead. But oh well. Or technically Water. dead. It's hot out. Oh, sure. <laughs> Are you telling me you're too young to drink? You look like a regular huntress, and a beauty at that. It was awesome. Okay. Uh, no shit. Thanks the help. bandits. Seriously, not too bulky, not too lean. Punch him, Yang. You're... Just right. Yep. Like I said, I'm good. Punch him in the face. And your hair. Oh hell nah. Bam! Oh, a two fell out. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude ricocheted through the walls and the roof. <laughs> this one's on the house. There we go. He's been driving me crazy. Good stuff. So, what brings you around these parts? Thanks. And I'm, uh, looking for someone. <laughs> Not many people come out here too far from the kingdoms. Only person worth noting around here is, well, Raven. Raven Bronwyn. Thanks again. Now, now, Missy, you don't want to go messing with bandits. They're a world of trouble. So I hear. It sounds like this looks like your classic like cowboy freaking western movie from like the seventies that my dad would watch. <laughs> you wouldn't mess with those guys. Those guys are trouble. I don't know. Just so just stuff always from the eighties or some shit. That guy's done for, bro. Hey, girly. Seriously? This isn't over? I hurt your 
looking for someone. <laughs> I knew he was part of the bandits. <laughs> Can I help you? Um, yeah, is there a ruby rose here? Why? Well, I found him. <laughs> I think her uncle could use some help. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can a girl read her comics in peace? Uh, no. <sighs> Crow, did you get drunk again? He did. Maybe. Oh. You have silver eyes. Who are you? <laughs> uh. Well. My name is Oscar Pine. Wait for it. You probably know me as Professor Ozpin. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Crow is so dumb, bro. <laughs> I did it. Like, bro, what the... Oh my god, so I'm, dude, Ozpin has to be old as shit. So I'm assuming that we're gonna find out some more about Ozpin because I've been waiting to learn some shit about Ozpin, bro. Because, like, for the longest time, man, I've just been so curious about what's Ozpin's situation, man. Like, is like his real body or like, like, what, what, what happened to it? Like, where the hell did it go? I'm assuming I burned the cinders. I'm just like wondering, like, who the hell is he, bro? Like, is he even human? Because he's able to like trans, like, like, uh, transfuse through people and just like it's like, I don't know, become becoming somebody else or something like that. I don't even know if it's, like, if it's called reincarnation. I don't know what the hell it is, but apparently he's just able to go through other people's souls or some shit. I don't know. This, this whole thing is weird. Um, and, and also this is former. Uh, uh, I think I think Team Ruby's gonna come together. So that's gonna be good, cause you know Vice is going somewhere else. I don't know if, the, if she's going the same place that Oscar went to, like Ruby and them. I don't know if they're all gonna end up in the same place. I I hope they do end up in the same place. That would be nice. You know, just seeing all the gang together again. Even though Pira is not gonna be around, <laughs> Pira and Blake might take a while. Blake is gonna take a while. I'm not gonna lie, cause uh, Menagerie and all that situation, the White Fang and multiple other White Fangs. Um, that's going to be a, a little bit difficult. I'm going to head out. I'm going to get to the next episode of Ruby. I shall see you later. Peace out.